Hi, this is Brent from the Open Medicine Foundation, and I wanted to share with you today some of our top posts and news items from the past month that were most popular with our supporters. You can find links to more information about all of these items in the text of this post. So the first piece of news that was a very exciting announcement is that Dr. Ron Tompkins has accepted the position of Chief Medical Officer at Open Medicine Foundation. Dr. Tompkins is already on OMF's Scientific Advisory Board, and he's the co-director of the OMF-sponsored MECFS collaboration at the Harvard-affiliated hospitals. In his new role, Dr. Tompkins will facilitate communication between the collaborative research centers and collaborators for OMF-funded projects, and he'll drive OMF's overall strategic plan, which includes patient care, access to treatment, new technologies, and innovative diagnostics. Uh, also, a, another piece of exciting news, Dr. Alain Moreau, who is a Canadian researcher, is joining our scientific advisory board. Dr. Moreau was recently appointed the director of the interdisciplinary Canadian Collaborative Myalgic Encephalomyelitis Research Network, which is a national research network funded by the Canadian Institute of Health Research. Uh, additionally, a very generous Canadian family made an anonymous designated gift to OMF Canada of $1.2 million over two years to support MECFS research, which will be undertaken in Dr. Moreau's laboratory. laboratory. In other news about OMF Scientific Advisory Board members, Dr. Maureen Hansen has just published an article searching for metabolite markers in the blood of MECFS patients compared to matched controls. And if you'd like to take a look at that, you can just follow the link in this post to download the PDF or read the abstract. Finally, uh, Stanford Medicine announced its top 10 news items of 2019, and number two was the work done by Dr. Ron Davis and his collaborators to develop the nanoneedle diagnostic device as a potential diagnostic tool for MECFS. So those are just a few of the top news items from the past month. If you miss any of them, please be sure to take a look, and you can also help us out by sharing them on your own social media accounts. One housekeeping item, uh, Facebook announced this month that you can now make a recurring monthly donation through the platform. Uh, the benefit of that is it's very convenient, but even better, Facebook will cover all of the processing fees, so 100% of your donation will go to OMF. So if you'd like to set that up now, you can go to our Facebook homepage, click the blue Donate button, and you'll see an option to donate monthly. As always, you can also keep up with our news via email. All you have to do is go to omf.ngo and click the subscribe button to sign up. So that's all the news for now. Thank you, and we look forward to keeping you up to date.